Today I'm going to show you what's inside one of these exhaust manifolds and how it works. Over here at the back of the engine, underneath this heat shield is where the exhaust manifold is located. So now the exhaust shield is out of the way, I can work on removing the exhaust studs to get it off the engine. And here is the exhaust manifold removed from the engine. Now here at the back of the engine is where the exhaust manifold mounts to. Alright, so you can see you've got the entire exhaust laid out here. We've got the exhaust manifold up at the front here, the catalytic converter in the middle, and the resonator, and then the tailpipe that leads out to the muffler. So here's the exhaust manifold removed from the vehicle. This one here from the four-cylinder engine is a four to one manifold. You can see this is what the back side looks like, and this is what the exhaust gasket looks like. Now over here we've got the heat shield, and then we've got the collector over here, followed by the exhaust flange. And then we've got the air to fuel sensor before it goes out to the catalytic converter. Now I'm going to cut this open to see what it looks like inside. And that's what that looks like. Oh, there's double walls. So inside the downpipe here, I was actually surprised because it is a double walled pipe. That's why it was so difficult to cut through. You can also see the air to fuel sensor inside of there, which tells the computer if it's burning too lean or too rich. Now you can see the double wall on the other end here. It runs from about here all the way up to the top here. And over here where the exhaust flange is, it's also double walled. Alright, let's do one more cut down over here. Alright, let's open that up there. And that is pretty cool. So if we take a closer look at the collector here, we've got the four individual pipes that join on each corner with this cross in the middle. If you look from the back here, you can see that cross. And here we've got the exhaust manifold. You can see that the outside cylinders have a much longer pipe compared to the inside cylinders. OEM has specifically tuned it so it has optimal performance and sound for this engine. And the function of the exhaust manifold is to collect all of the exhaust from each of the cylinders. In this case, I've drawn a 4 to 2 to 1 exhaust manifold. Now each cylinder releases exhaust gases at different timings, and those exhausts come out in pressure pulses, with the front having a high pressure and the back having a low pressure. So now as the pressure pulse travels along here, it creates a low pressure zone over here, which helps suck out exhaust gases from the cylinder. Now this effect is known as scavenging, when the low pressure from the exhaust pulse helps to evacuate remaining exhaust gases from the cylinder, and it also helps to bring in fresh air from the intake, at the moment when the intake valve and exhaust valves are open at the same time in the cycle. That helps to fill the cylinder with fresh air for the next cycle. And the manufacturer has chosen the diameter and the length of each pipe to optimize the scavenging effect that this manifold has on the cylinder. Now aftermarket exhaust had will usually go from the skinnier OEM design to a much larger pipe to make it a little bit more free-flowing and the piston easier to push out the air. Now a free-flowing pipe allows for a much easier escape of the exhaust gases compared to a narrower pipe where pressure is building up. However, the trade-off with that is on the narrower pipe you've got a much higher velocity of your pressure wave which increases the scavenging effect allowing fresher air to come into your exhaust. On the other hand, with a larger pipe your velocity decreased significantly and so does the scavenging effect. Now when designing the exhaust header we need to strike a balance between these two in order to have a sufficient scavenging effect while at the same time not exerting too much force on the piston due to back pressure. And who would have thought there was so much engineering that goes behind a simple exhaust manifold.